willkommen zu Mofa in VR. Ich bin Mutensen. In Hamburg ist mieses Wetter und deswegen machen wir ein bisschen Videos. Tatsächlich nicht nur deswegen, sondern es äh, gibt eine Arbeitshow von den Kollegen von Without Parole, englischsprachiger, sehr schöner Playstation VR Kanal. Die sind da gut am Start und die haben die 2020 Playstation VR Awards gefeiert. Da ja? haben sie so die Community gefragt, was ist euer bestes Storytelling Game, das beste Action Game gewesen 2020 für die Playstation VR. Und dann haben sie aber während der einstündigen Awardshow auch sehr viele Neuankündigungen und neue Trailer und Infos und so rausgelassen zu PlayStation VR-Spielen 2021. Und ich dachte, das ist für euch interessant, deswegen habe ich mich mal hingesetzt und aus der Show nur die Sachen rausgeschnitten, die diesbezüglich interessant sind. Das wollte ich euch mal gerne, boom, am Stück kompakt zeigen. Gar keine großen Kommentare oder so. Viel Spaß damit. Ich freue mich über das Däumchen. Macht euch eine nette Zeit, entspannt euch und schreibt mir mal in die Kommentare, welches davon für euch interessant ist. Vielleicht beleuchten wir das dann später nochmal genauer. Bye, bye. Take this. First-person tower defense in VR, and that.
Oz is a Christmas event that's going live alongside a Swordsman contest. The event is expected to release this week, leading up to Christmas. Five lucky winners will win one of five prizes at the end of the contest, including a digital edition PS5, a Respawn 100 gaming chair, and gift cards to a retailer of your choice. To learn more, visit the Sin Studio Discord and check out the Claws Contest channel for full rules and requirements. Ah, uh, hello, candidate. Please, please, I have so much to inform you of. first living person to do this. From what we've gathered, the Earth will experience a major cosmic disaster. We need you to gather as much information as possible. Pay attention to your power levels, even though we're only sending you into the future for a 30 minute research expedition with an automatic return, it's still ideal to be aware. Coming temporal reading. Welcome to 1984. Hi, I'm Alex, CEO of Fallen Planet Studios. We've been developing VR for eight years now, and we're most known for our popular horror title, Affected the Manor. 2020 has been a pretty challenging year for most. We've tried to see it as an opportunity to review what we've learned since we began and this led to the release of two new pieces of content called The Gaunt and The Darkness. We're now in the process of developing two brand new VR titles and we can reveal more about that in the future. For now we'd like to show you the upcoming PSVR release of Affected the Man of the Complete Edition. This will feature an improved version of our core experience plus all our DLC in one package. We'll be making this available for free to all existing owners of Affected the Manor on the PlayStation VR platform. The Gauntlet presents a unique speedrun challenge with randomised events. A global leaderboard will set the pace as players are challenged to outpace their friends and the PSVR community. <laughs> the Darkness will be our scariest and most claustrophobic version to date, where players will have to navigate never-before-seen areas of the manor with only the light of a candle to guide their way. Included in the update is a new environmental menu where players will find increased locomotion options for more comfort, a skin shader for greater personalization, and we've increased our localization to 10 languages. We're looking forward to bringing Affected the Man of the Complete Edition to PSVR in Q1 of next year, when we'll also be revealing more about our upcoming titles. For now, all we can say is they may not be horror, so don't expect any cheap jump scares. <laughs> Early next year, developer Fast Travel Games will release their VR horror game called Wraith The Oblivion Afterlife. This is the first ever VR game set in the world of darkness, and it lets you play as a certain kind of ghost called Wraiths. As a Wraith, you'll have a companion of sorts by your side, called the Shadow. The Shadow is a manifestation of your dark subconscious. Call it the devil on your shoulder, or the little voice in the back of your head, telling you to do the things that you really shouldn't. So while he functions as a guide through the game, should you really trust him? 
let's have a look at some exclusive development footage from Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife, and more specifically, the role of the Shadow. PlayStation VR Gamers, Frank here from First Contact Entertainment. Hope you don't mind the small interruption to the awards while we take a minute to give you the first look at Solaris Off-World Combat running on PlayStation VR with AIM support. Welcome to Solaris, the eSport of the future. Grab up to three buddies and hop in for some fun and fast-paced frenetic action as you battle across multiple maps to control and win the points. Since the launch of our preseason, we've been adding content, squashing bugs, and most importantly, working with our growing community to make Solaris the best game it can be. Today, we are proud to show you our PSVR build, which, in my opinion, when paired with the AIM controller, is easily the best way to play. Now, we do have some work ahead of us, but so far things have been going smoothly and we're eyeing an early 2021 release. We'll be launching with dedicated servers, crossplay enabled, and you'll also be able to use the DS4, but considering how much effort the team has been putting into AIM support, I can safely say you'll be missing out using any other controller. For all the latest PSVR updates and news, make sure to like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, or join the official Discord. Now, we can't wait for you to start playing Solaris Off-World Combat. All right, back to the show. The best is more is more. The best is more. The best is more. The best is more. More fun VR is more. The best is more. The best is more. The best is more. Tens more fun VR. 